Hello everyone and welcome to Day Trader S&P 500. Today is Sunday night, December 4, 2022. It's an important day. We'll get to that shortly. Uh, this is Dale Woodson, editor of Woodson Wave Report and Day Trader S&P 500 YouTube channel. I want to start by uh, showing you guys what we put out to our monthly subscribers published uh, late night on Friday after the market zoomed up after the uh, down on the open and uh, basically comes down to one of two things is in play either it's a leading diagonal triangle or an expanded flat um, for wave two or wave three I'm sorry to begin wave three down the leading diagonal right here or the expanded flat as we have right here or wave two up is still in play it's that simple. One of two things is happening. We may know as early as Monday, uh, tomorrow, because uh, today is a very important day, and I'll get to that uh, real soon. You can see that's the wave count there. That's the Friday open, and that's the clawback that they did, the overlap there for four to one. And then if it is in, the, in a, an expanded flat in red, uh, one down, A of two up, B of two down, C of two up to complete two, where C goes above the high of A. Okay, so uh, that is one of two things going there. That's what we put out uh, after Friday's market action. So that's where we are. And those other two targets, if two up is still in play, we've had those up for weeks or months actually. Uh, C equals A at 41.30, and the 786 retrace is at 41.50. Okay, so far the high is on uh, on 12.1. But I want to show you guys uh, something else here if I can. I'll get to that. Um, let's just go to the December monthly. We don't usually show you what we put out to our annual subscribers. Uh, they get monthly reports and then reports as market conditions warrant. So this was in our uh, December monthly. Hey, I want to show you this uh, weekly chart, okay? Of the bear market okay the breakdown internally within wave a the sub waves and B and so far C uh, wave one of a down was a Fibonacci eight minus one or seven weeks wave two up was five the uh, up waves are in black the down waves are in red a wave uh, three was within one week of eight Fibonacci eight Wave four was two up, wave five was two down, and the entire wave A was 21 plus two, Fibonacci 23 uh, days. And then uh, B up, even the internal waves, A was two up, B was two down, C was five up, perfect, perfect, perfect. Wave one is eight down. Wave two so far, as of Friday, is seven weeks up, but if it goes up tomorrow, or any time this week, it'll be a perfect eight weeks up. And I want to get into that. Do I have that? Uh, yeah, so we wanted to look at our uh, our Fibonacci time spiral. And from the November 22nd, 2021 high, yeah, the bear market's over a year old in the NASDAQ. Here's our Fibonacci time spiral. We haven't talked about that in a while. And I think I might have it in bigger print below here. Yeah, here we go. And lo and behold, today, uh, December 4th, is the next turn date. You can see this has scored a lot of direct hits from that all-time high in the NASDAQ on 11-22 of 2021. So it shows the next one is today. Uh, if uh, the S&P would make a higher high on Monday. The cash S&P is closed on Sunday, but the futures are open today. Uh, the cash could come as close as possible to the turn date instead of Friday's high on 12-1. It could be uh, Monday, the day after, the next closest day to Sunday. We'll see what happens tonight and tomorrow, but either two up is still in play. We have those higher targets, or we have the expanded flat with the uh, overlap in wave two. Wanted to show you guys that, and that's where those things are. Let me give you guys a little look at our charts here before we get too involved. There is that uh, NASDAQ chart from the all-time high on uh, November 
of 2021, November 22nd. The check marks are the turn dates. It didn't catch every turn, not not all the highs and all the lows, but certainly some turns within other turns. And the next turn is 12.4, and so far that high is on 12.1. And there is Friday 12-2. So we'll see what happens there. On the uh, S&P, here's that weekly with uh, the down bars obviously in red and the up bars in black. And you can see that uh, this has turned uh, perfectly. I kind of would love to see it make another high, a higher high uh, today, Sunday in the futures and or tomorrow to make that a perfect eight weeks up for wave two. And then, of course, the next big event is wave three of C down. It's the third of third wave. It should be strong and powerful, have gaps and um, huge volume and all that stuff. By the way, when three of three or three of C is in, there'll be no doubt about the direction of the market. Everyone will know what the trend is. It'll be down and uh, there, there will be no debate. But uh, we're still waiting for that to turn. OK, here's our. Uh, our daily chart of the S&P, you can see the trend line here from the all-time high. You can see it touched that wave too over here. It touches the B wave high over here. And as if the market knew on Friday, December, Thursday, December 1st, it wasn't supposed to be here. It was an unforbidden territory, if you will. It gapped down. We'll see what happens. But again, that trend line is being touched, okay? The C wave here, you can see the targets on arithmetic scale and on log scale. I don't know. Uh, here's those uh, higher targets in the S&P. Let me bring that up there. There we go. Let's get this more in focus here for you guys. There we go. From the B wave high, we've got one down in parentheses. We got a five up, three down, five up for wave two. There's that high in the cash on December 1st. There's the higher targets. Or C equals A at 41.18. The high on December 1st was 4,100, and there's a 7.86. Those are the two higher Fibonacci targets that are possible to attain. They don't have to be, but they're up there. Okay, we'll see how that uh, works out. And let's get into our uh, ES here. Okay, this is the same thing. We've got that uh, 41.10 high on 12.1. There's a higher. 0.786 retrace, and I think I may have the C equals A target over here on, yes, I do, on the hourly, okay? And uh, the, the the futures were also moving in Fibonacci ratios in terms of time. We have pattern, we have price, and we have time, and they're all lining up, so this is an exciting time. But there's that C equals A at 41.30. The 786 in the futures is 4150, and the actual high was 4110 on the first. Let me see if I have some picks for you guys here because they're a little cleaner than all that other stuff. There is the E mini futures with the breakdown in the uh, Fibonacci days for wave uh, one down and uh, two up, and the internal waves within those waves. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, give me a second here. I'll get to that. Here's that hourly with those two higher Fibonacci targets as far as price. 41.18 in the cash, 41.47. And there's the actual high of 4100 on December 1st with that turn date. Today, Sunday as we speak. That's why I wanted to get this out. We'll see what happens if that uh, Friday move up was a precursor to what will happen tonight and or tomorrow. And here is the cash daily with those targets there. Okay, and let's see if we can uh, review a little more. Let's see what we have else here. What else we have here? Here is that weekly which we showed. And here is the Fibonacci time spiral from the all-time high in the NASDAQ. It has caught a lot of turns and it calls for one on 12-4 uh, today, Sunday. We'll see what uh, what today in the futures or tomorrow brings in the cash or if uh, the high on 12-1 was it. We'll see where the turn comes. That's it for today. And until next time, take care, everyone.